okay good day today still under binary operations but today we'll be treating uh, a subtopic titled uh, the identity element now previously in my last video on binary operation uh, we treated the introduction to binary operation the symbols and how simple binary operation expression can be calculated with ease all right today the identity element now by definition identity element is uh let me say that a operation identity element gives you a which means when an identity element is operated with an element a it gives you the same element as the answer yes which means if element e well i mean the identity element e is operated with any element it gives you the same element as the answer now for instance you can say that x uh, operation e which is the identity element will also give you x uh, let us say that m operation e which is the identity element will also give you what m uh, let us see again that uh, w operation the identity element will also give you what w now this is the general rule of identity element so and as such we will actually be solving uh, an example to also give you a better understanding of how this identity element really works all right now let us dive into examples for more better understanding now in this example uh, we are told to find the identity element e in the binary operation on the set of real numbers defined by x operation y equals 3x plus 3y minus, uh, minus 1 over 3. Now, as we earlier said that if an identity element is operated on an element, now it will give you the same as the element. Now, what does that imply? Now, remember by that we actually say that a operation e will give us what a. Now, ensure that you remember this. Now, bringing down this, we can now say that x operation e will give us now wherever you see why you place it with i as your identity element so it will give us that 3x plus 3e minus 1 over 3 now take note this expression is this now which means that x operation e will now give us what x which give us to what 3x plus 3e minus 1 over 3 now you can now cross multiply this is all over one cross multiply we now give this times this will give us what 3x equals what 3x plus 3e minus what one and as such collecting like terms we now have that 3x minus 3x will give us what 3e minus one now this will actually give us you can come over here now that 3 minus 3x will give us zero which will give us what 3 e minus 1 so we can just transpose this over to this side we can now that 3 minus 3 e equals to minus 1 then our minus we cancel out so here we are left with 3 e equals 1 now what do we do here make e the subject formula as such we now divide both sides by 3 so 3 cancel 3 then e equals to 1 over what 3 so as such now that the identity element for this expression is given as 1 over 3. All right, let us take one or two more examples for better understanding. Now, looking at this example, once again, here we have that x operation y gives us x plus y plus 2xy. Now, what we need to look for here now is the identity element for this operation. And as we rightly said the other time, that a operation e will give us what a so we apply that rule to this and how do we do that now what we need to do now is x uh, operation e now we give us uh, replace your y with your e as usual so here we have that x plus e now plus 2x then e now take note following this rule here so it, it then means that this x this operation here by x operation the identity element will give us the same element we have that x plus e 
plus 2xe. Now, collecting like 10, now take this over to this. Transposing this, you have that x minus x equals to e plus 2xe. So here we have 0, which gives, now what is common between this, we have that e into what? 1 plus 2x. So I saw this into now saying that e into 1 plus 2x equals 0. Alright, so what do we do here? Making e the square formula, we have to divide both sides by 1 plus 2x. So which means we are dividing by 1 plus 2x over 1 plus 2x. Now this we cancel out uh, this and as such we now have that e equals 0 over 1 plus 2x which implies that e equals to what 0 final answer